here in Los Angeles. It is warm. Uh, but it's 120 degrees Celsius. It's true. Oh. <laughs> and today, 120 degrees Kelvin. <laughs> we are reacting to a festival. Oh, because wait, on the second, which is today, somebody asked us to react to uh, the, here. say this for me. Ganesh? Gan Ganesh? Ganesh. 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 Uh, Ganesh's birthday celebration. Birthday celebration. It's a uh, festival, one of the thousand festivals in, uh, uh, India? <laughs> uh, We're just burning up, that's all. It's, it's true. It's hot in here. It's like the sun in it this is. corner. The it moment is. the air gets stagnant, our flesh starts to kindle. So if we look redder than usual... <laughs> here? Especially but, us together, it's not it's okay. Bad. Really bad. Here we go! <laughs> I'd arrived during one of the biggest festivals in the entire world. I'd arrived! <laughs> the annual birthday celebration for the elephant-headed god Ganesh. Oh, okay. For weeks and months before the festival, yes, Hindu families buy or make statues of the god before carrying them as part of a huge procession down to the Indian Ocean. That's the thing they do in the This is just a temporary uh -huh. installation. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, during during the end of at the end of today. Wow. That's not an elephant though. No, it's the eight-armed goddess. This one's the elephant. Yes. This is Ganesh. Hindus believe that paying homage to Ganesh will remove obstacles to success and bring good fortune over the coming year. Vikas Vasudev would be my guide on this leg of my journey in Western India. Ganesh is a visitor during these 10 days. He visits the people of the earth. And then the way you bid farewell to guests, you bid farewell to Ganesh and put him back to the earth. This is the all-inclusive nature of this festival. This lady who is just receiving a blessing or giving a blessing there, she's Muslim. This is a Hindu god, but this festival brings everybody in the city and the country together. For the finale of the festival, even this huge Ganesh is carried through the streets towards the sea. We joined the devotees as hundreds of other Ganeshes flooded in from different parts of the city. All sorts of Ganeshes are this festival from the big. <laughs> it's a traditional Indian festival. Set to be. Monsoon winds made this city one of the great Indian Ocean trading ports. And that same monsoon delivers this deluge. Do they get it after that's the end of the festival and saying goodbye because there's a period of time where the god comes to stay during the festival. So on the last day of the departure. We're starting to spray Ganesh with water over there. And then he's going to be immersed into the sea. Ganesh is going into the sea. But there he goes, into the water, to be immersed and return back to nature. 
Ganesh is the god of wisdom, prosperity and good fortune. The festival is hugely popular with the millions of people who flooded into this great city in recent years, fleeing rural poverty and seeking a better life. We had a very long and magnificent, wonderful day. Ganesh is going into the sea until the early hours of the morning. I missed at the beginning what city this took place in. Uh, if it said Mumbai, is it? Look in the description. I'm just uh, I'm just, just guessing. Spitballing here. Uh, let me check here. Mumbai. Mumbai. Good guess. Um, when in doubt, guess Mumbai. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do they leave it in the ocean though? Yeah, but it's done. Like they, but so it stays goes, there, like a shipwreck. The ocean? Like a shipwreck. Yes, it's gone. It goes so, back like, if somebody gets... goes diving, there's a bunch of Ganeshes down there. Yeah, I'm sure over time, the the the, That'd be the silt actually. and the the ocean that. floor covers it. Like you you're going down, you're scuba diving, and then you go and to then the all of a sudden, right. elephants <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, Which no. Be cool, but I'm, I'm frightening. If you I'm pretty it sure it gets covered up, or and also over time, depending on how far it gets out there, there's it, actually coral can grow on it and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, it's just like or is it biodegradable? Just like Maybe. Uh, maybe. The materials that they're made it looked metal. <laughs> materials that's made with it very well could be biodegradable. Knowing India yeah. and how conscious they are of the planet, it would not surprise me if they were uh, biodegradable materials. <laughs> and please, obviously, inform yes. us. Let us know. Because yep. Rick knows nothing. So yep. I'm not relying on him for actual 100 information. 100 percent you shouldn't. <laughs> I do know they it stays. I do know that. Yeah? Yeah. Because the other one stays, stays in, Yes, stays yeah. in the water. Really? And then they make a new one for the festival the following year. Wow. Do they do this with almost every god? Like in terms of that they have I don't like, know that. That's a great question. They have the other one that was in Kahani, right? They, yeah, they do have festivals that are for each of the gods that are represented, but I don't know that every single festival ends with them taking the the, the god and putting it in the water. I don't know that that's it, and it could be. These are the only two I know of, Durga Puja and this one. There's probably a, a several others where they would do it that way in other cities. But then you would obviously have the challenge of places that, aren't, that are landlocked, that don't have a water place to dump it. I mean, Mumbai's got the ocean. Uh, you may have places that have rivers. I was trying to think if they had like something here for it, but I was like, there's no way they could dump something in the ocean. No, Maybe people here would freak out. Yeah. It would not be okay with that. Well, they would if it was. Yeah, no. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. I mean, they, they might like you like have to put it in, but then you have to take it out. Right. <laughs> like something like that. Probably. Um, so I'm sure they have like celebrations here of this. I just wow. don't. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what was happening? That was cool. Why? Wow. <laughs> Anyways, please let us know uh, more about this festival and uh, happy. Uh, do you call it just Ganesh? Ganesh Day? Ganesh? Happy Ganesh? They, it should have said, said that happy in the title. Birthday, yeah, it says right? Ganesh's birthday celebration. It has to have a proper name. They're all saying like happy Durga Puja. Yeah, yeah like oh, Durga happy Puja. Birthday. So. No, it's got to have a. It's got to have a proper hint. You know, maybe, maybe it's just called Indian? Ganesh. Like share. No. <laughs> what name? <laughs> I'm not saying anything, it's just... Do you believe the love of the Lord? He's <laughs> turning <laughs> way too hot. So oh. don't, don't do that again. Sorry. <laughs> it is so hot. Yeah, so please let us know what else uh, is along with... Also, let us know future upcoming festivals. Because we did the one with the people climbing on each other. We absolutely, really cool. yeah, we absolutely need so to do. So we love learning about all this. Durga Puja is coming up in October. Uh, that, so that's the next one, Durga Puja would be the next that's one? That's the next really big one that's coming up in okay, October. And that's similar, right? Oh, oh sim very similar. Okay. Yeah, in terms of the the this that's several days and during that time period that God is visiting on earth at that time and then when it ends the statue of the god is put into the water. Okay. And there's things that are happening each day during the time of the festival. Cool. Yeah. But what do you think? Different god. Good stuff? Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs>